Yeah, what's up, everybody? I'm actually going back to work. A little, little pepper there. Anyways, uh, yeah. So, profits before wages. So, so a lot of uh, our youth and uh, people in the last probably, I'd say, 100 years since we've uh, become a consuming society instead of a productive society. And uh, I'll make a quick analogy of that. So basically, you know, about a hundred years ago, people were taking care of all their stuff on their own land. They were farming, they were gardening. I mean, think about it. If you know how to grow a garden and you know how to take care of a cow and a couple pigs and, you know, have your chickens laying eggs, then uh, you don't really need anyone else for anything. But, uh, the industrial age came and they said, you know what, uh, why don't we, uh, provide all these, you know, productive families, uh, an opportunity to just come to stores and buy that stuff instead of doing all the work. And naturally people don't want to do the stuff that they've done, you know? And so they basically took that opportunity willingly, not knowing what would happen in the a hundred years later. And so what's happened is, we literally have these families that are all based on consumption. So the father goes out and he works his butt off by the hour wage. And then uh, he makes barely enough livable wage to provide for him and his family. And then he uses that money for consumption. He gives it back to the people that gave the opportunity a hundred years ago so that he doesn't have to go farm, doesn't have to go out into the garden, he doesn't have to teach his kids how to, you know, collect eggs from the chickens, none of this stuff. And so basically what's happened is we've moved over from, you know, our pilgrim ancestors and the pioneers of the United States of America not the corporate United States of America, but the actual democratic system of the United States of America, that we should be consumers instead of producers. And this is what it's done to our country. It's turned our country into a bunch of soft, you know, a bunch of softies is what's happened. So now we have softies and uh, we have hard times. Because the thing is, is now that everyone's been talked into consuming, the next problem comes, and that's inflation, livable wage, and da 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 da. da. So let's. So that's. I know that was a kind of a long explanation. I was trying to make that brief, but uh, and and you can probably tie together. And if you have any questions about that, go ahead and just put a comment in the uh, comment box and I'll be happy to comment or we could have a little side, you know, uh, talk about it. You know, any of that will work. So uh, I lost track of thought because I was looking at this really nice big Ford truck. Um, but yeah, so, so basically profit, you know, before wages. And so basically I, on estimate, I think each person on planet earth has about 800 and I think it's like 870,000 hours, don't quote me, but like 870,000 hours to live on planet Earth. And I think each month is around like 8,600 hours and each year is around like like 18 or 26. I don't know what the year, but but I know it's it I I know roughly it's like 860,000 hours that an average human lifespan is. And remember, those hours when you give them to somebody for wage, you never get them back. But when you make a profit, you can always replace the money. But we're not teaching anyone this. So, you know, replacing the money is doable. Replacing the time that you've put in is not. And so I truly believe that everyone should always be put on a profit. So if you're going to go work for a company, then you shouldn't work for a wage. The only reason why the wage was invented is so that they can make profit off of your wages. They don't want to do the work. 
So they pay you to do the work of what you are willing to do it for by the hour, and then they make a profit off of you. But, you know, a very smart lady told me that, you know, uh, all you have to do is make sure that you have the skills to provide uh, in order to make profits. So let's uh, make a small little profit. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, template. So a profit template. Let's make one. Let's say that uh, I know how to uh, I know how to run a hedge trimmer. I think I've talked about this before. So I, I, I can run a hedge trimmer. I can, I can run a lot of tools, but we'll just use hedge trimmer. That's one tool that I know how to run. So let's, let's say I go to a landscaping company and I say, hey, I'm a hedge trimmer and uh, I want a hedge trim uh, for your company. I wanna, and they say, okay, yeah, you can do that for us and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll pay you like you know $23 an hour. And then, uh, you know, you're going to have to give 15, 30% of that away for taxes because, uh, you know, we're going to be putting you on payroll and paying you by check and you're working for wages and you're like, okay, so you take it and they provide you the hedge trimmer, but you have the skill to run that hedge trimmer. They're just providing you with that asset. Okay. So that's one. Now let's say instead you decide, you know what? I don't like working for $21 and then being taxed and only making like 17, $16 an hour, which is almost actually, in my opinion, it's not a livable wage, but in other people's, obviously our officials opinions, if they were in our position, it wouldn't be a livable wage, but since they're in their position, it's definitely a livable wage for all of us. But getting back to the point. So I don't want to work for that little, you know, I don't want to do that anymore. And so this has nothing to do with, uh, you know, not paying taxes. It has everything to do with, you know, LLC or S corp is really what that is. We can talk about that another time, but, uh, you get yourself a hedge trimmer. So you can go on, uh, Facebook and you buy yourself a hedge trimmer. That's basically, uh, you can get one up for about 125 bucks. <laughs> And then you need to get some gas, you need to get some oil, depending on if it's a four stroke. So there's all these little things that you do need to know. The more skills, the more, you know, you're going to basically, the more, uh, the more you learn, the more you earn is basically what, what it comes down to. And so now you got this hedge trimmer, you got some gas, you got some oil. And obviously I'm hoping that at this point you have, you know, some sort of transportation so you can get yourself around. Now you can, you got a couple, uh, options. You can go walk around your neighborhood or any neighborhood that you see where you see hedges that need to be trimmed and you can knock right on the door and say, Hey, I'm, uh, offering hedge trimming service and, uh, here's my card. And if you'd like hedge trimming service, I'm available today or I'm available, you know, anytime this week or anytime that maybe that would be, uh, you know, convenient for you. Or you put yourself an ad on, you know, a social media site, Craigslist, uh, whatever you want to put it on, and you offer your services as a hedge trimmer. But now that you're offering your services as a hedge trimmer, instead of going to a landscaping company and offering your services as a hedge trimmer for them, you're making the profit. And they are the ones that are, uh, you know, well... What's happening with them is they, they're going to find some other, you know, schmuck that's going to work for them and make profit off of, but you don't have to be that schmuck no more. You can literally develop your own skill on knowing how to hedge trim. You can learn that in your own front yard. And so now I would say that hedge trimming, you could, now here's the thing. I don't really like to look at, uh, hedge trimming by the hour, but since most, uh, of you youthful, you know, loyal subscribers, I should say, and thank you for all that, are, um, you know, taught the hourly system. And so when you hear 35 an hour, your eyes get real big. $35 an hour isn't that much. So I'm just kind of letting you know. But when you're in your 20s, $35 is really good money. And money earned earlier is better than money earned later because you're going to be more healthy earlier and you're going to have more fun with the money. The people that wait 
to have that money when they're older don't have as much fun with the money. Matter of fact, they have so many more obligations at that time that they can't even enjoy the money. And the money usually ends up getting put to some other, you know, trust fund baby or something like that. And then they end up enjoying the money for all the fruits and labor. So don't do that. Instead, work for profits. Don't work for wages. Get yourself a hedge trimmer and use a template. You could do this with anything. Like I said, the more you learn, the more you earn. So got your hedge trimmer. You charge 35 an hour. You go find yourself your own work. You don't uh, depend on anyone to find your clients or anything like that. You do that all yourself. And then at a certain point, I I think the, 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 uh, there's a law and then I think it's right to work. And I think it's like, there's a law. It's like $500 a day is what you're allowed to make. I think with a right to work or whatever, without a contractor's license or, you know, I think each state is different, but those laws are getting tighter and tighter and tighter because they want everyone to work by the hour, not a livable wage, stay under their thumb so that no one can actually, you know, uh, get ahead in life. I mean, our tax system is so shit. Think about this. These guys that are making a million dollars a year, just plan to give $400,000 back to all your, you know, lovely representatives that made sure that that system took 40% of your profit. So you're not making a million dollars when you make a million dollars. You need to make $1,400,000 and you give that $400,000 to them and then you kind of make a million, but you don't because guess what? Then you got to take 40% of that $400,000. $400,000. Then you got to take 40% of that and 40% of that. And you just keep doing it until finally at one point your profit is a million dollars. And so I could do that math equation for you guys, but you can understand what I'm trying to say is that it's set up into a way that it's not livable and it's not a sustainable system. I, I, I would argue that the tax system is better than uh, the monetary system, but not by much, really not by much. And I think the reason why the tax system is a little bit better than the monetary system, well, first of all, the monetary system is cl- uh, controlled by uh, private by a private party, the largest one in the world, which is central banking. And then uh, small little monetary things like what we have control over in our money is like we have like the, uh, the U.S. Treasury. We actually own that. The United States people own that. The country owns it. It's not part of corporate America. It's actually part of the United States of America, which is actually a democracy. But the Republic Corporation of America owns... What do you think they own? They own the fucking Federal Reserve. It's a private... And then, this is what's so funny. If you ask if it works for profit... Oh no, it's just a system that that there's no profit and all this. It's such a fucking crock of shit. And this, I can't get too deep into this stuff, guys. And you have to look this stuff up for yourself. But the truth is, is this is why people are getting banned. Because people are waking up and realizing what a crock of shit lie we've been fed for so long. And we're just fed up with it. And so that's why this channel exists is because I am fed up with it and I want to educate our youth to understand that you guys are not followers. You're all creators and you are the ones that are going to pioneer us into the future with AI technology, biochemistry, and uh, whatever we uh, do with you know uh, communications and everything else going into outer space. This is what our race should be you know, doing, not fighting over land, fighting over oil, fighting over religion, fighting over, you know, this is, we are literally as smart as guinea pigs when it comes to like what we're doing with the world. And I don't want to go too far off into a rant about all that kind of stuff, which if you guys like that kind of stuff, please comment in the comments and say, Hey, I like that rant that you were talking about in this or that. And dude, I will make videos of whatever you guys want to hear. Um, And if I don't know about the subject, I'll even do some research on the subject and then tell you guys what I dug up. Well, anyways, so in closing, profits before wages and uh, inspire to add more value to the people you come across than they could ever add to you. Go check out Gary Vee's channel. Check out Simon Sinek. Check out Tony Robbins. Maybe even go and uh, listen to an autobiography of like Benjamin Franklin 
or uh, an autobiography of Tesla. Like, this is some really, really good... Actually, an autobiography of Martin Luther King is really good. Really, really, really good. See, the thing is, is they killed these people. These people died or whatever. But you know what? All their work's still here. You are living in the age of, you know, data and information. And so... You have it better than anyone ever in any time. You have all the information readily at your fingertips to take control of your life, your government, your land, your ownership of your actual organic body, not your corporate figure. And uh, that's the one that, that comes in and capitals on all of your documentations. And then the other one is the one where it's just uh, the first two are capitals. So the first uh, letter of your name and the first letter of your last name are capitalized. That's actually your stuff. Anything else that's full, full capitals, that belongs to the corporate of the United States of America. And if you don't believe me, look it up. You know, when we uh, did the hostile takeover that we like to call World War II, yeah, no, that was a hostile takeover of Germany. It wasn't World War II. And I know some people might not want to hear that, but our uh, history has definitely been... Uh, skewed and we didn't have all the information that we have now or ability to keep tabs on what was happening during that time so basically any narrative could have been sold and I'm a, a true believer that you know Hitler was very very upset with the Jews because the Jews were you know making his currency devaluing his currency now maybe they were doing it in a just may maybe they weren't I don't know that part but I do know that Hitler got mad because they were devaluing the currency and that's not what I'm trying to, you know, uh, focus on. What I'm focusing on is that that's what's happening right now in the world. The currency is being devalued and people are getting really upset. And you see what Hitler did when he got upset when his currency was devalued. And the United States said, oh, good. You know, we devalued, they devalued the currency. Now we can go over and buy them. And they said, oh, no, no, no. You don't buy us, we buy you. And then that's when Hitler was like, no, nope, I'll just shut the borders down and I'll make the money exactly whatever it was worth then, maybe even more, and we'll have a booming thing and I'll just shut off to everyone. And that's what he did. And, you know, I don't, I don't say that we do uh, the genocide like he did, but shutting off our borders and taking control of our own monetary system and just, you know, what Putin did recently, all the McDonald's, he basically got his own, like, you know, engineers and scientists to basically mimic the food however they can, and he just took them all over. So they still have McDonald's in Russia, but it's not owned by the McDonald's franchise, and that's how real business is. So don't kid yourself. It's all about hostile takeovers and blood for blood, and that is disgusting, and that's why we have terrible business, because business design of the modern world right now is design to go to war and put each other out of business. But the new business design of the world is to go into business to help each other because business is a perpetual game, one that you want to keep going. Why would you go in business to put somebody out of business just so that you can be number one or so that you could sell more than them? Well, guess what? If that's truly what you're going to do, then it's like uh, being a UFC fighter, everyone fights for the belt and you're always a target if you have the belt. But if everyone, and that, and that's called a, a finite game, that's a winner and a loser. That's not the, you know, uh, that's not what we should be doing when it comes to like business, especially if we're come to professional business that, you know, has cert or, or, uh, indications and, uh, repercussions on the people that are just part of the system that have no jurisdiction over the rules and regulations and stuff and the, and what we do have is so little that it just that it doesn't even matter and so that's why I'm like dude go get some chickens get a get a pig you know get yourself a little bit of farmland and just like you know if we go out of debt the economy tanks but if we if the country goes out of debt and the economy of tanks, they'll have to change the system. And so the only way that's going to happen is if we all start taking care of ourselves and each other. That's how that's going to happen. But um, 
yeah, so I know that was kind of a lot, and I haven't given you guys a video in a while, so I wanted to give you like the best video possible for some of the stuff that I've been uh, thinking about lately. I'm going back to the farm and getting things done. I'll upload this uh, tonight. But uh, yeah, so basically, that's that's that. Gregory Zod World signing out. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, comment if you like what I'm talking about and you want to hear more because uh, I really enjoy talking about this kind of stuff and I'd like other people to know this type of information so that we could uh, make the world a better place. Well, it doesn't come from love, it's wrong. Gregory's Odd World signing out.